we start to celebrate the holiday season, we also have a major milestone in space exploration to look forward to next month. It's going to be the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, which is now scheduled for December 18th, 2021. Only time will tell what new discoveries are going to be made using the James Webb Space Telescope. It's been more than 20 years since the Hubble Telescope was launched and put into space. Look at the advances we've made in the last 20 years in computer technology and apply that to space telescopes. The James Webb Space Telescope is going to be a major advancement and is going to allow our astronomers to see galaxies and celestial bodies we did not know even existed. Welcome to Reaching for the Moon, hosted by me, Ed Grace. This video is going to provide you an update on the scheduled launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to launch from European Space Agency's launch site at Kourou in French Guiana on board an Ariane Space Ariane 5 rocket. The $9.8 million Webb project has overcome years of technical delays, funding issues, and even a pandemic, and finally has arrived at its launch day in French Guiana. The Ariane 5 is one of the world's most reliable launch vehicles capable of delivering Webb to its destination in space. The European Space Agency is providing an Ariane 5 launcher and associated launch services to NASA for the James Webb Space Telescope. Serving as the successor to NASA's venerable Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope will journey to a distant destination about a million miles from Earth known as a Lagrange Point. A Lagrange Point is a gravitational stable spot between two celestial bodies, in this case the Earth and the Sun. At this location, the combined gravitational pull of the Earth and the Sun allow a spacecraft, in our case the James Webb Space Telescope, to orbit the Sun in the same time it takes the Earth to orbit the Sun. It will take the James Webb Space Telescope approximately a month to arrive at the Lagrange Point. Once at the Lagrange Point, the Webb Scope will undergo a six-month startup operation period that's going to include a variety of key operations from the unfurling of its complex mirror to ensuring that all the instruments are working correctly before the James Webb Space Telescope is ready to function and be utilized by our scientists and astronomers. The James Webb Space Telescope project has four key goals. One, to search for light from the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe after the Big Bang. Two, to study the formation and evolution of galaxies. Three, to understand the formation of stars and planetary systems. And four, to study the planetary systems and the origins of life. It's going to be a very interesting to see what discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope actually makes. Well, that ends today's video, which I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button as well as the subscribe and notification buttons to receive an email every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching and remember always, failure is not an option. Bye!